Hi, this is Max from arbitragehero.com and in this video I'm going to provide you with a short tutorial how to use online arbitrage module. To access online arbitrage sourcing module, uh, what you need to do, you need to go to the left, left hand side uh, menu and go to analyze products on the online arbitrage section. And once you are on this page, then you can start searching for products which you can source with Arbitrage Hero. Depending on the country which you are in, you will see different list of products in here. And if you have access to multiple countries, you can switch between countries using uh, this um, button in the top toolbar. What we allow you to do, uh, we allow you to select up to five stores at the moment. And for example, I can select Academy, Art Hard, Ace Hardware. And also, uh, if you don't want to use those uh, stores anymore, you can uh, click cross next to them and you can remove those filters from here. You can also uh, select uh, up to five categories as well from the uh, drop down menu in here and to be able to search for products you must select either a store or a category or both uh, you can't filter and search for products without selecting either the store or a category also what we have here is we have uh, a setting matching score uh, because in Arbitrage Hero we use multiple ways of matching products. We use uh, titles, we use uh, different criteria for titles including like we are trying to extract size and the number of products uh, which we can identify from the title. But to make our matching more precise we also use barcodes but if there is no barcode provided for a product then we use uh, images and we try to compare images uh, with Amazon and depending on the weights for those uh, images we assign them uh, different levels like medium low and high and if you select the high uh, section here then this will be the highest matched products uh, which will be returned to you by Arbitrage Hero. By default is set to medium which is pretty good but if you want to see more products uh, where you might see more mismatches then you can select the lowest matching score for your uh, search. Next uh, setting which you have here is <coughs> custom filters and uh, we had many requests from our users to be able to save uh, different filter settings uh, for their searches so for example you can uh, create a custom filter for uh, let's say 30% ROI with uh, BSR uh, or sales rank in 1% and uh, by default we have some predefined settings here and you can set them here with, without saving custom filter. So for example I can set maximum ROI to uh, 30%. Select Academy here and as a result Arbitrage Hero will return uh, a list of products with maximum 30% ROI. Uh, and obviously if you wanted to have minimum 30% ROI then you can do it like that, click update and Arbitrage here will return to you a list of products with a minimum 30% return on your investment. Uh, in this case I haven't saved this uh, particular filter, Arbitrage here will remember the last setting uh, which you set here, but what you can do, you can save it, let's say test 30% ROI so I can save that filter <clears throat> and next time when I return to this page I will be able to select my uh, filter my custom filter from here so I don't have to enter the same settings again and let's have a look at uh, some 
settings which you can set here. Some settings are pretty obvious, like sales rank, minimum and maximum return on investment, uh, minimum and maximum cost. But we <clears throat> also allow our users to select a list of categories which they want to exclude. So, for example, uh, if you know that you are gated from certain categories, then you can select a list of uh, categories which will be filtered out from our search results. Uh, also, we had requests to add uh, exclude keywords. So, what it means that you can provide a comma separated list of, uh, for example, brands which you are gated from or or any keywords which you don't want to see here and if you provide them in here then arbitrage hero will be uh, filtering them out from your search results and uh, as I said other settings are pretty obvious like for example discount if you know that a particular store offers you 10 or 20 percent discount then you can provide those discounts in here and arbitrage hero will automatically apply that discount to the search results uh, when it tries to calculate your profitability. Also, uh, one more thing that if you have a subscription to SaaS uh, or Seller AMP product, then you can enable uh, that setting in here. And when you click update, uh, we will generate links which will include SAS specific parameters. So when you click on the link in here, then when that page is opened, the numbers in your uh, seller AMP extension will be pre-populated for you. Uh, you can also see an additional button appears uh, here. So if you click on this uh, SAS button, then we will automatically open an extension for you with pre-populated numbers here so you can start analyzing products using Seller AMP as well. Uh, if you don't have a Seller AMP or SaaS extension, then you can get it by following this link. Uh, and if you have a ByteBot Pro extension access, then instead of enabling SaaS here, you can enable ByteBot Pro, click Update, and, uh, and uh, we don't have an additional button to open uh, Bybot Pro from here because they don't have that capability. But uh, what we do, we still generate Bybot Pro pre-populated uh, links. So if you enable Bybot Pro setting here, then we will pre-populate links for you with uh, specific Bybot Pro parameters. And when you open Amazon link by clicking on this link here, we will pre-populate all the settings in your ByBot Pro extension. Again, if you don't have access to it, you can uh, have a look at it by clicking on the link below this setting. So this is how online arbitrage module works in Arbitrage Hero. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support and we will try to help you as soon as possible. I hope that this was useful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.